A linear function has the table of values below. It gives the costs of purchasing certain numbers of movie tickets. The top row is a number of tickets, the x variable. You have values of 3, 5, 8, and 10. And the total cost in dollars is the y variable. You have $25.50, $42.50, $68, and $85. So the first column of the table goes with three tickets, cost $25.50. The second column means five tickets, cost $42.50. The next column, eight tickets, cost $68. And the last ten tickets, cost $85. So it says write the linear function that represents the total cost y for x tickets per purchased. So we're writing the linear function. So I'm going to start by writing my y equals mx plus b. So from here, I know the b value. If I buy zero tickets, the total cost is zero dollars. So I know my b is zero for this problem. So I need to find the slope. There are different ways to do it. Um, this ends up being a proportional relationship. So there is an alternative here, but I'm going to use the method we've been using. We're going to take two columns of our table of values. We're going to use eight tickets cost $68 and 10 tickets cost $85. We're going to take the x values and subtract them. 10 minus 8 is 2. So our change in x is 2 for this pair of points. Now I'm going to subtract the y values. 85 minus 68 is 17. So my change in y is 17. My change in x is 2. So I'm going to find my slope, which is my change in y over my change in x. So I have 17 over 2, which is 850, 8.50. So I'm going to plug that in for the slope, the m. So y equals 8.50x. I don't have to show that 0 at the end there, so I'm going to write it as y equals 8.5x. That is my equation. Now for part b, it says what number does a function assign to 4? So what did the question and your answer mean? So First of all, the question means if you purchase four movie tickets, what would the total cost be? So what I'm going to do is substitute 4 in for x into my equation. y equals 8.5 times 4, and I get 34. So this means the following. It costs $34 to purchase four movie tickets.